What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be giving you an update on my Leopard Gecko Stakes video. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Hey guys doing and welcome back to my youtube channel today's video i'm going to be giving you an update on my leopard gecko shakespeare so if you don't remember him from past videos i included him in a few of my past videos and he was actually one of my first pet reptiles or actually my first pet reptile i had uh, a few amphibians before that this guy's my first pet reptile he's doing really really uh well in this 20 gallon long bioactiturum you see i have a ceramic heat emitter hooked up to a thermostat right there he has a fluval uh planted light right here and that's growing plants really well it's not really 100 percent needed but i got the light for free so might as well be using it for him and it fits the terrarium great and gives a nice white light which i really really like i really like that white colored uh light it's really natural and looks pretty cool so here he is he actually just shed a day or two ago and he's doing astronomically well I'm gonna actually feed him in the next clip i just water down his enclosure Basically, he has his cool hide, his uh, humid hide right there, his warm hide, and then I had a ton more plants in here, but those died off pretty randomly. I did get them from outside, and they were being grown outside, so that could be part of the reason why they died, just because um, they were plants that were growing outside, and the shot could have changed them. Because he's actually just licking up some water right there. This is a very common behavior for leopard geckos to lick up water droplets off leaves, other surroundings. He does have a water dish right here but he's doing really, really good. You can see the algae or whatever growing in the water dish. I've tried to clean it, but it just kind of stays in there. There we have an isopod. It might be an armadillian vulgari. But anyway, isopods are doing great. I have armadillian vulgari, RM nasty, porcelio scaber. Then I also have P. perninidus powder blue isopods in here. And yeah, so I'm gonna go get some bugs ready and we're gonna feed this guy. All right guys, so we're gonna be feeding him right now. Let me just get the top open on the enclosure. Like I said, this guy's doing so well. He's super cool. Really got a handleable gecko. Um, really fun little guy. Oh, there he goes. It's actually a pretty cool feeding response from him. Usually he's not that aggressive with it. I just fed him the other day too. There we go. And I actually did recently acquire another leopard gecko. And that one is doing really, really well. And he's actually gonna be in my pet tour video. It's gonna be coming up really soon. Uh, I'm actually getting some more isopods in and I want to film and release that pet, uh, all my pet video after the isopods come in so I can include those as well. And if you guys don't remember from my last video, I actually did have a package of some dead isopods come in. Oh, you got my finger there. It doesn't really hurt. These guys, it uh, doesn't hurt at all. It just feels like a little pinch. He's just going to get three super warms to the day. He probably wants to eat some more. But yeah, I'm actually going to take him out for you guys so you can show him how he's doing. Like I said, he's doing really, really well. Very well. He's a super cool guy. So I'm gonna get him out and I'll show you guys him up close. So here he is. You can see uh, all the, sm the smiley face on his head and some shocked face. And that's one of the reasons I named him Shakespeare. But anyway, he's doing really, really well. Uh, he's just a normal yelper gecko. He does have a little, little bit more of yellow pigmentation, but he's still a normal leopard gecko. He does have some orange, but that's pretty average for these guys. And he's a really cool guy overall. You can see uh, he's doing really well. He does have some stuck shed on that leg, which is very odd for him. Normally never has stuck shed in the enclosures for a human. So I'll probably just give him a little soak or I'll check him back tomorrow and see if everything's good. His toes look good with no uh, shed stuck on there. So that's always good. Kind of weird that it's on the side leg there. He probably just needs to get that off still. Overall, he's a super healthy guy. He's a really big gecko. Not like length-wise, but he's just pretty chonky right now. And he can definitely lose a little bit of weight, but he's definitely still a healthy weight. And if he lost a little, he'd be even more healthy. But there's no uh, real health concerns currently with his uh, weight right now. So this guy's doing really, really well, like I said. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this little update video on him. And happy holidays. I am, will be releasing this on Christmas Day. So anyway, make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.